Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project detection of cardiovascular diseases in ECG images using machine learning and deep learning methods. Introduction The primary aim of the project is to enable early detection of heart conditions, which is crucial for saving lives. By developing accurate models, the project aims to contribute significantly to healthcare. Detecting heart diseases at an early stage is of paramount importance. It allows for timely medical intervention leading to improved patient outcomes and increased chances of recovery. The conventional method of manually diagnosing health conditions in healthcare settings is often slow and prone to errors. Automating the diagnostic process through deep learning not only speeds up the analysis but also reduces the risk of human errors thereby enhancing the overall efficiency of healthcare services. So the project employs state of the art deep learning techniques including architectures like SqueezeNet and custom convolutional neural network models. These techniques are specifically tailored to classify different types of cardiac abnormalities in ECG images with a high degree of accuracy. And integrating the system with the internet of things has the potential to revolutionize healthcare delivery. It enables real time patient care and monitoring allowing healthcare providers to respond promptly to critical situations and provide continuous support to patients even beyond traditional healthcare settings this integration enhances the overall quality of patient care and contributes to a more connected and efficient healthcare ecosystem objective of the project so as i mentioned earlier the primary objective of this project is to create a system capable of detecting cardiac abnormalities from electrocardiogram images Early diagnosis is crucial in preventing severe health issues making this goal a critical contribution to healthcare and to achieve accurate detection the project leverages deep learning models for feature extraction from ecg images these models are designed to automatically identify relevant patterns and features within the images improving the accuracy of the subsequent classification process and the project aims to enhance classification performance by combining the power of deep learning features with traditional machine learning algorithms this hybrid approach harnesses the strengths of both methodologies resulting in more robust and reliable disease classification and to further elevate model performance the project explores transfer learning techniques as an extension to the project this objective demonstrates a commitment to maximizing the system's effectiveness in detecting cardiac abnormalities and as an extension again the project extends its impact beyond model development by creating a user friendly front end interface using flask This front end facilitates user testing and interaction with authentication ensuring that the system is accessible and practical for healthcare professionals and patients. Requirements. Hardware requirements. Operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, hard disk of 25 GB and above. Software requirements needed are Anaconda 3 and Visual Studio Community version. Now we'll discuss the flow of work. The first step is importing required packages. In this step we will import essential libraries such as NumPy and Pandas for data manipulation, sklearn for machine learning and data preprocessing, matplotlib and cbon for data visualization and tensorflow keras for deep learning. The second step is exploring the dataset. In this step we will examine the dataset which contains electrocardiogram image data. Exploratory data analysis helps us understand the nature of the data, identify any anomalies and prepare for subsequent processing. The third step is image processing. In this step we use the image data generator to enhance data diversity and model robustness. This includes rescaling to standardize pixel values, shear transformations to introduce skewness, zooming to simulate size variations, horizontal flips for image reversal and shaping to ensure uniform dimensions. These techniques collectively prepare the ECG images for effective deep learning analysis. The next step is feature extraction of images. So SqueezeNet is a compact and efficient deep learning model designed for image classification. LXNet is an early but powerful convolutional neural network used for image recognition. CNNs are networks inspired by the human visual system and are excellent at tasks like image analysis. These models will be used to extract features in images. These extracted features serve as inputs for traditional machine learning algorithms to enhance the accuracy of cardiac abnormality classification. 
The next step is training and building the model. So after feature extraction, we proceed to train machine learning models. Each machine learning model is trained on the extracted features. So the machine learning algorithms built are random forest. So random forest is an ensemble learning algorithm that combines multiple decision trees to make predictions. Each tree in the forest independently predicts the class and the final prediction is determined by voting or averaging. Random forest is known for its robustness against overfitting and its ability to handle high dimensional data making it an ideal choice for classification tasks. So the next algorithm used is SVM that is support vector machine. SVM is a powerful supervised learning algorithm used for classification and regression. It aims to find the hyperplane that best separates different classes in the feature space while maximizing the margin. It can handle both linear and non-linear data using kernel functions. Its strengths lie in its effectiveness for high dimensional data and its ability to generalize well to new unseen data. And the next model built is KNN that is K nearest neighbor. KNN is an instance based learning algorithm used for classification and regression. It makes predictions by finding the K nearest data points in the feature space and determining the majority class among them. KNN is simple to understand and implement and is especially suitable for multi class problems. It can also handle noisy data effectively. The next algorithm used is decision tree. Decision tree is a tree like structure where each node represents a feature, each branch represents a decision rule, and each leaf node represents a class label. It makes decisions by recursively splitting the data set based on informative features. Decision trees are interpretable and can handle both categorical and numerical data. They are particularly useful for capturing non linear relationships in the data. And the next algorithm used is Nye Bayes. Nye Bayes is a probabilistic classifier based on Bayes theorem with an assumption of feature independence. It calculates the probability of a data point belonging to a class based on the probabilities of its features occurring in each class. Nye Bayes is known for its simplicity, speed, and effectiveness in tasks like text classification and spam filtering. And as an extension to this project, we apply transfer learning techniques. Transfer learning is a technique where pre trained deep learning models are adapted for new tasks, saving time and resources in training from scratch. This additional approach enhances the project's capability for accurate classification. So we will utilize the extracted and pre-processed images to train the mentioned machine learning models. These models will learn data patterns and relationships within the images. After the training phase, we will assess their performance on a separate test dataset using metrics like accuracy, precision, recall and f-score to determine their suitability for real-world image classification tasks. So as an extension again, we have built front-end using Flask framework for user testing and user authentication. So the next step is Flask framework with SQLite for sign up and sign up. In this step, we integrate user registration and login functionalities into the Flask framework. Users can sign up by providing their information and subsequently they can securely log in using their credentials. This enhances system security and allows for personalized user experiences. So, after signing in, users can upload ECG images for analysis through the web interface. This functionality makes the system accessible to healthcare professionals and patients who wish to check for cardiac abnormalities. Any image uploaded by the user goes through pre-processing steps similar to what was done during the dataset preparation. This ensures consistency in the input data format. The uploaded and pre-processed image is then fed into the trained machine learning models to predict the presence of cardiac abnormalities. The model uses the extracted features to make an accurate prediction. Finally, the results of the prediction are displayed through the front end. Users can easily interpret the outcome helping healthcare professionals and patients make informed decisions about potential cardiac issues. So this is the horizontal bar graph comparing accuracies of different algorithms. So in this graph on x-axis I have accuracy score and on y-axis I have algorithm names. So accuracy measures the overall correctness of predictions showing the percentage of correctly classified instances. And this is precision comparison graph. In this graph on x-axis I have precision score and on y-axis I have algorithm names. Precision measures the accuracy of positive predictions indicating how many predicted positives were actually correct.
and this is recall comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have recall score and on y axis i have algorithm names so recall measures the ability to identify all relevant instances showing how many actual positives were correctly predicted so this is f score comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have f scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so f score combines precision and recall into a single metric balancing accuracy and completeness in predictions execution of the project so to execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files so this is data set folder in which i have four different class images on which we will train models so the first one is abnormal so abnormal images show heart patterns that aren't normal indicating potential heart issues so these are all the abnormal images i have and the second one is hmi hmi relate to people who had a heart attack in the past so these are all hmi images i have the next one is mi so mi depicts ongoing or recent heart attacks so these are all mi images i have and the last one is normal So normal images are what a healthy heart pattern looks like and help compare against others for diagnosis. So on these images we will train the models. And this is sample images folder in which I have test images on which we will make predictions. This is static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It it includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML pages. and these are all model files which contain algorithm information these files will be loaded into the project during run time this is notebook.ipynb file this is a jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place it allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science and this is signup.db file this file is the database file used to store user information Now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. I'm copying it and open Anaconda prompt. So use the command cd followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button. So this command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path. Now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button so this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues so after running the app.py file the flask framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently now copy the local link provided by the framework i'm copying it and paste it into any web browser i prefer chrome after pasting it hit the enter button so the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser this is the front end built using flask framework so here we can see a sign up link click on it so if we are new users we have to register first fill in all these details and click on submit button to register and if we already have a account we can directly log in by clicking on this link so as i already have a account i'm clicking on this link so here we have to provide our username and password and click on submit button so it has redirected us to the detection page so here we have to upload the ecg image click on choose file button So from sample images folder from abnormal folder I'm selecting fourth image and click on open. And now click on upload button. Scroll down. 
so this is the uploaded image and this is the diagnosis so it has diagnosed it as abnormal now click on home click on choose file button we'll try with hmi image now i'm giving the eighth image and click on open and click on upload button so this is the uploaded image and here we can see the diagnosis as hmi so it has correctly classified the condition as hmi now click on home again click on choose file button we'll try with normal click on upload button so this is the uploaded image and here we can see the diagnosis as normal click on home again click on choose file button we'll give mi image now i'm giving the seventh image and click on open and now click on upload button so we can see the diagnosis as mi and this is the uploaded image so similarly we can upload any ecg image and get the diagnosis now click on sign out button so the conclusion here is the project excelled in predicting major heart issues from ecg images using deep learning models like squeezenet and lxnet achieved remarkable accuracy Notably, extension model demonstrated exceptional accuracy, showcasing the potential of transfer learning in ECG image analysis. And traditional machine learning, when combined with deep learning-based feature extraction, showed varied outcomes, emphasizing the power of deep learning. This project underscores AI's significance in early cardiovascular disease detection, promising improved healthcare outcomes. and it encourages further exploration and innovation in leveraging ai for early disease detection a critical domain in healthcare thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos please visit trueprojects youtube channel and subscribe